I need a weapon. Pew, 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 gotta save the galaxy, pew, 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 I'm coming, Cortana, pew, 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 pew. What's going on, guys? My name is John117, the Master Chief. Otherwise known as Creekcraft. <laughs> What's going on guys? My name is Creek and today welcome back to another Minecraft mod spot. Today we're going to take a look at the Halo Craft mod for Minecraft version 1.8 and 1.7.10. Noah's mod adds in a whole bunch of Halo related items that are really cool into the game. We have some Halo ore, which actually Halo doesn't have ore. So this is just brand new. But we have you know, Halo related items. We have Halo weapons tons of really cool stuff so to start off we have three new ore we have well, actually four technically we have red plasma ore purple plasma ore spartanium ore and green plasma ore and now with this ore you can uh, smelt it and craft red plasma blocks purple plasma blocks spartanium blocks and then you can smelt the green plasma ore into green plasma ingots but it currently does not have a block as far as i'm aware Here's what uh, these items look like. We're going to throw them down. We have Spartanium, uh, Purple, Red, and Spartanium Block, Purple Plasma Block, and the Red Plasma Block. Get rid of this grass. There we go. Looks really nice, really cool. And then the Green Plasma Ore, that is what that looks like right there. All right, so that is the ore and blocks of this mod adds, but it also adds in a whole bunch of crafting items that you're going to need to craft, you know, the weapons, such as ammo, wheels, a whole bunch of other stuff, oil. Uh, this is the craft recipe for the wheel. You're going to need eight rubber, one iron ingot, and rubber is a full crafting table of oil, which you get from smelting dirt, which I find pretty funny. Um, and then you also have covenant pieces. Uh, that's how you craft that. You have plasma. By smelting one green plasma ingot, you have rockets, ammo for you know, your rocket launcher, spartanium blocks, really expensive, really expensive, plasma rockets um, for the, oh crap, what's it called? What's the, oh no, Halo knowledge is seeping away, the fuel rod cannon, there we go. Uh, we have ammo here, health packs. Health packs are really cool because when you right click and use them, they apply a regeneration effect to your health. So it's really nice. Uh, red plasma ammo. Um, I do believe that's the incineration cannon, I think. I'm not entirely sure how much ammo goes to which, but um, uh, here's the ammo here. Needler ammo. Uh, tank harvester, which to be fair, I'm not sure what this does. I haven't been able to get it to work, and I couldn't find anything on the forms. Um, I might check again before the video is over and try and figure this out. Um, but And then we have carbine ammo, and that is that. So we also have five vehicles. We have the troop hog, craft recipe for that. The scorpion tank, I mind you. The ga- not gas, the ghost. There we go. The mongoose. And the warthog. With an assault rifle, and that is how you craft an assault rifle. All right, let's take a look at some of these vehicles. Just drop off some of the stuff here and take all of this. So we have the Troop Hog. Looks really funny in, in Minecraft, but I mean, hey, it, it's, is it, well, it, it, it kind of works. It kind of works, and people can get in on uh, the back of it, um, I believe, uh, in the side. I don't have anyone to test this. Yeah, there we go. I was in the back. All right, and then I can get... Oh, I broke it. I don't think they're supposed to break that easily. Somebody tells me they're not supposed to break that easily. That might just be me. Um, we have the Scorpion Tank. And this thing is, I'm assuming, not working correctly. If you get into it... Uh, I have no clue how you're supposed to fire. And for some reason, it just randomly keeps turning black and despawning. I have, oh, like that. I'm not sure what's going on there. Maybe it's like being intersected into like another block or something. And why is it going sideways? I'm pushing forward. And it broke. Tank broke. Okay. All right. That's cool, I suppose. Um, we have the ghost. The, the ghost. Oh, there we go. Okay. 
There we go. I'm like, come on, guys. It was just working. Why does this always happen to me? Why does this always happen to me? And, I mean, it kind of works, I guess. It's kind of like the... Oh, crap. It's going sideways, too. Oh, no. It broke. Dang it. I seem to just get spart Spartanian ingots from this. Uh, we have the mongoose. No, this thing should be awesome, right? There we go. It's like a little four-wheeler. And here we go this way. Did it break? Oh, dang it. It can't go up blocks? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Hold on a second. Hold up a second here. The mongoose can't go up one block. Oh, no, it can't. Wow. Okay, that really needs to be fixed. It should be able to go up one block. Uh, tall structures. That's, that's crazy. And then we also have the regular warthog with a turret on the back. Oh, oh, snap, 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 snap. Yeah, the vehicles are not working correctly at all. I'm, I'm guessing the mod is still in somewhat of a development stage. I'm guessing because this, this isn't working. All right, something I thought I'd point out there is you might have noticed it on the screen, but when the warthog was up, it just did it. My frame rate automatically went down to 37, 38, 39, but when I destroy it, it goes back up to 60. So I'm guessing that's a bug with the mod. I'm not not too sure what's going on there. But um, the the main reason to download the mod comes from the weapons. Obviously, we have the energy sword. We have the rocket launcher, the assault rifle, the battle rifle, the incineration cannon, Frag grenade, UNSC pistol, sniper rifle, needler, fuel rod cannon, plasma rifle, and carbine rifle. And these things are amazing. Let's take a look at the sword, the rocket launcher, assault rifle. Man, I want to look at all of these. So the sword, uh, it, well, I mean, it, it could be improved. Uh, it does 10 damage, I believe. Yep, 10 attack damage. Really strong weapon. We have the rocket launcher, the spanker rocket launcher, spunker, however you want to pronounce it and uh, it can do quite a bit of damage and it looks really good like this looks like the actual halo spanker um spanker that <laughs> I swear that is the name of the of the rocket launcher S P N K R. I call it the spanker um, it, it sounds weird and that's okay uh, we have the assault rifle. How much damage does it do? I don't know. A spawn a. How about we spawn a grunt, which is something this mod adds. A mob. It adds two mobs from Halo. The grunt and the elite. Here's the grunt. Look at you. Let me just shoot you with my assault rifle. Looks like it has six damage hit. Okay. We have the battle rifle. This should do a little bit more, right? Nope. Does the same amount. Okay. There we go. You can't zoom in from what I can tell, but I mean the model looks really good. Incineration cannon. Of course from Halo 4 looks really good as well. And going back to the weapons. Let's see here. Let's dump some of this stuff off. We don't need all of it. Uh, frag grenade, pistol. Let's look at this and let's look at the plasma rifle. Okay. Frag grenade. You throw it. It blows up. It's pretty self-explanatory. The pistol. How much damage does it do? Let's see. Let's see how much damage the pistol does. I'm guessing six. Probably the same amount. Yeah. Okay. And it doesn't seem to be able to go through grass. Which is a problem. The sniper rifle. The Halo 1 sniper rifle. Check that out. Dang, that looks good. The fuel rod cannon. The plasma rifle, probably one of my favorite weapon models. So like, it just, it works. It looks good. It works. Does it go through grass? It does. It does go through grass. Okay. And was that it? I think that was it. As far as weapons goes. Oh, uh, we have the carbine rifle. We'll take a look at it. Uh, carbine rifle. Looks a little skinny, to be honest. But, hey, what you gonna do? And then the needler here. Also looks pretty good. Although, unfortunately, in the Halo series, the Needler, you know, like, curves. And it's not doing that here. The bullets aren't curving. Or the needles, whatever you want to call it. Which kind of sucks. But, uh, let's get rid of this stuff and move on to the armor, which is another cool thing. Oh, let's look at the Elite real quick. So, this is the Elite. 
I'm kind of confused because this is not an elite at all. This is not a wart wart. Um, maybe he can fix that, or the mod developer, he, she can fix that. Alright, so you probably noticed the overlay on top of my screen there. It's the Halo 4 Master Chief overlay, and it looks really nice. And you get that. Actually, it does. Oh, look at the mini map. I didn't even notice that. It shows enemies on the mini map. Check that out. Check that out. That is tubular. Wow, that is good. I kind of wish that the overlay extended across the entire screen. That, that'd be really cool. But it doesn't, which is unfortunate. Alright, but as for the armor, we have the Spartan Helmet Crafting Recipe here. This is Master Chief's uh, armor, specifically, and that's why it has the overlay. Um, it is better than diamond. Uh, I do know that. We have the other Spartan overlay here. Uh, the red Spartan Helmet looks pretty good. I, I do believe it's as strong. Like, all the Spartan armors are as strong as the other ones. And there's the green. And here is the blue looks really nice and then finally we also have the elite armor or the covenant armor not the elite my bad and it is here's the craft recipe for those and actually I didn't go through the craft recipes for uh, for the red armor there we go and the green armor it looks like it's just like green dye uh, to dye the armor and that's what it is okay all right and the covenant armor is better than diamond but not as good as the Spartan armor, which makes sense. Or does it? I'm not sure. I think lore-wise it does make sense. And I do believe this is the Brute armor. I'm not entirely sure. It kind of looks like the Elite armor from Halo 2, but... Oh well, it looks pretty nice. You don't get an overlay or anything, um, obviously. Um, and that should be it. I don't think I missed anything. Oh yes, the active camouflage. You can put this into your armor slot. And it will give you invisibility for as long as it is uh, in your chest. And then when you take it off, uh, it ticks down from 25. So you have invisibility for 25 more seconds. But that is the Halo Craft mod. I'll have a link to it in the description of the video below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to give it a like on your way out. It really helped me out and I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And you'll be notified as soon as more come out. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!